Today we're just going to see how we can use the 3 times table if we've forgotten anything in the 6 or 12 times table. You know immediately that 6 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 and that 12 is of course equal to 6 multiplied by 2. And because of this, we get that same pattern all the way down. For example, have a look here. In the 3 times table, you've got a 9 here. You've got double that, 9 times 2, in other words, 9 plus 9, which is 18 here. And again, double of 18, in other words, 18 times 2, 18 plus 18, which is 36 here. Or here, you've got 15, double it, you get 30, double it again, you get 60. Or over here, 33, double it, you get 66, and double of 66 gets you to 132. It's very easy to double. We can either quickly and easily multiply by 2, or we can just add the number to itself. So this helps us if we forget something in the 6 times table or the 12 times table. Let's have a look. Let's just imagine that I had completely forgotten what to do with 7 times 12. Well, one way of doing it would be to start with a 3 times table, which I know. 7 times 3 gets me to 21. So then 7 times 6 is just going to be double that. Well, 21 times 2 is 21 plus 21, which is 42. And then I can immediately go through to 7 times by 12. I just have to double 42 and I will get 84. So if I've forgotten something in the 12 times table, I can rely on the 6 times table. And from the 6 times table, I can rely on the 3 times table.